just by implementing these two simple steps, you will be able to prevent hitting plateau in your fitness journey. Let's go. What's up guys, good to see all your smiling faces here. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is JJ and in this channel, we do fitness tips and tricks to help you progress easier in your fitness journey. So if you haven't subscribed, remember to hit the subscribe button for more amazing video just like this. And if you are a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome back and thanks for tuning in. Let's go. This is the third part video for a three part video series where I talk about how to uh, prevent plateau and also break your plateau. So just in case you haven't seen the first and second one, I'll be linking them up in the card and also down in the description. So remember to check it out. By the end of this three part video series, you will be able to diagnose the problem and also take proper steps to prevent it from happening in the first place. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna spend a little bit time on is about overtraining. Overtraining is definitely one way to stop making gains and if left unchecked, you might it might even cause you to lose muscle, muscle mass and also your strength. And especially for beginner, this is overtraining is actually a vicious cycle. Whenever their strength or their muscle mass comes to a standstill, guess what they would do? They would increase their workout volume, they would increase their workout intensity, which is just the opposite of what they should be doing. You probably have already guessed it, right? They may think that that is the remedy to solve um, the standstill that they are facing, but in fact, that is way further from truth and they are just not aware about it. So today, I'll be sharing with you guys some little details and uh, what to spot, what to look out for and also how to prevent it. In simple terms, overtraining means that you're not allowing your body or yourself to rest enough between workouts or between trainings, right? So you're pushing too hard, you're not giving yourself enough time to recover. The time you require to recover between workouts really depends on individuals and this will boil down to your genetics, your nutrition and also the quality of your sleep. And here are a few examples of uh, symptoms that you may be able to diagnose if you are overtrained. The first one is no energy. The second one is inability to sleep. The third one is joint ache. The fourth one is loss of appetite. And the fifth one is getting a lot of colds, meaning that you are getting sick really, really easy. And sad to say, if you are experiencing two or more symptoms that are described earlier, probably it's quite safe for us to say that you are actually um, in the state of overtraining and guess what the only thing that you should be doing and you can do is to take time off from your workout i know guys i know it sucks to stop working out and it sucks to get a lot of rest but trust me when you put put in the rest and you come back um, from the rest you will be stronger you will be having higher motivation and you will have higher desire to work out to put in the best workout you can because you know what you have been you have been resting for the past one week past two weeks and you are eager to start so that fire in you has burned all the way up again and that's where you push harder so take the necessary time to recover take the necessary time to rest and allow your body to recover itself so the second part to this is your sleep the amount of sleep that you are putting in every single night try to get at least eight hours of sleep or nine would be even better it depends on individuals and your lifestyle this is not a concrete number to follow but it can be a guide for you and experts always say if you need an alarm clock to wake you up you're probably not getting enough sleep or rather you're not getting enough of quality sleep which is the REM stage of sleep where rapid eye movement sleep where you go into deep sleep and that's when actually your body recovers the most recovers the fastest so just in case if you are not getting enough sleep or proper sleep there are certain ways that um, the experts have Put out, put out advices on um, one of it being having a wind down routine whereby you you block off some some time before your bed to get yourself ready for sleep just in case if you need more information on that you can just comment down below i'll drop down a few articles for you guys if you need it and if not you can just drop by google and have a search it, there are tons of information out there on how to get about better sleep and how to get more uh, stage 4 sleep Anyway, thank you guys for watching 
and I hope you guys really get a lot of information out from this three part video series. If you like this sort of video series, let me know in the comment section and I'll see what else I can put out for you guys. Alright, before you go, remember to hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to my channel. Share this with every single one you know so that they can get value out from this as well. And see you in the next amazing video. I'll see you guys then. Thank you and out.